think I may have been the one who named that chapter The Doer, okay? It got that title by me being out. See, some people will say things and do a lot of talking, but they don't do anything about it. In this chapter called The Doer, it was about a Caucasian talking to a black guy about what you people should be doing instead of just talking. Uh, he, he was in a situation like, man, I'm feeling the same thing that you are feeling, but I'm a doer. I won't let things happen and I just don't do anything about it, just complain about it. You guys gotta stop, man, letting white people think that you ain't gonna do nothing about it because you don't. What I was a little offended about it, what makes you think we won't do anything about it? He said, man, you know what? You boys, you fellas keep running around calling yourself names that is self-defeating. Nigga, 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 nigga. Don't you know they want you to do that? Because they're the one that name you that. And as long as you call yourself names like that, they don't have to do nothing to you. Because you defeat yourself. The man never went, I wouldn't let them keep doing that. I stopped, first of all. So that was part of the doer's title. This guy, and what had happened was this white boy was, why he was so concerned about what we do with each other because he was married to a Caucasian, I mean, this Caucasian was married to a black chick and he had a, a little mulatto child. He had a little mulatto child that he did not want his, his kid to come up like the rest of the black kids, man, and the police shoot him down for him because they call each other nothing. So they feel like, he feel like, man, if, you, if you guys just keep doing stuff like that, they'll just let yourself defeat yourself. Go. This battle here is all about, it ain't about your color, it's about your character. When they see you doing things uh, that they know is, uh, is not the kind of character that that you should have, or that you will possess one day if you stop claiming that other title. So many of them, they will, they'll stop hanging you guys and shoot you. They think you don't care. You know when you see uh, another black guy and you call him son name and, and say he's unworthy of this, unworthy of that, they want you to keep doing and saying that. I don't want nobody killing my kid because of his character. It, and that's a foul character, man. That came from a word, nigger, that my granddaddy gave you guys and made you do it. Every day, every day you'd have to train to do that until they get down into your spirit. Well, when it gets into your spirit like that, you take on that type of character. Now this is the white man talking about black guy. What we should be telling him, it's your character that counts. It ain't your color, man, it's your character. Certain black people don't get treated like that. But certain black people do get treated like that because they present their character. When you stop that, you got the problem with it. This was what happened to black people. As long as I can make you call your brother names and treat your brother as if he's nothing, okay, all I got to do is get you get your brothers fighting, divide you up, make one brother against another, and make you not trust each other, and then I step in and take everything from everybody. Because it, 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 this is a spiritual battle, don't you understand that? Even the scripture had told you one time, uh, a house divided cannot stand. So if I can divide you two brothers up and keep you all fighting all the time, I can just step right in and be the referee and take everything both of them. what it is. See, we had came all the way back to the same thing. It's almost the same thing every time. That's why planting a new seed in, in words will change your character. If, I, if you change your vocabulary, man, you'll change the way you think. The scripture even told you, so is a man thinking, so is he. So if you think that you are no good, with the word nigga mean? If you think that, that's the way you will act. You see? Survey, we, we did a survey to find out, well, what is the answer? 
Brandon New Sea was a program I started. Uh, actually, it, it, it was supposed to be called uh, KillTheNword.com. So we give you the order. But what happened was, Let's, let's just find out. Let's find out if there's anything to this, to this, uh, this, this, this new seed planting. And then we found out that most people that uses the word in nigger almost has the same kind of character. Uh, it's a word that if you will say that word long enough, you will start acting like that. You can tell yourself this here. Words have power, and it's a scripture thing where the word does have power. But you can tell yourself stuff like this. Just a word. Oh, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly. I can fly, I'm a fly, I'm a bird, I'm a bird, I'm a bird. I'm a bird, I'm a bird. You can say that all day long. Man, sooner or later you're gonna get on the roof, man, and jump up and kill your fool set. Because as power in every word you say, it has a spirit in it. So if we kill the, 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 the if we start to, if we, if we're going to have to have a, a brand new vocabulary that's going to have to start with words because the words have power. You could even do this. You could tell yourself, you could tell yourself, oh, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful. You might favor a throne. If you tell yourself that you're beautiful long enough, man, don't you understand? People just want to be around you and you'll start acting beautiful. You would have that kind of personality because of what? The words that you speak. Okay. It's all in it's all in the vocabulary. So our solution is this. I think what we should do is this. We should start every African American born with a new vocabulary. Reading, writing, and arithmetic should be mandatory in every neighbor every black neighborhood. If you don't go to school, man, it tires but up. Well not really like that, but make it not even not just a right, but a demand. You got to learn reading, writing, and arithmetic by a certain age with no exception. Gotta break up all this other stuff. Make me black? Why did you make me something the world wants to hold back? Black is the color of dirty clothes, the color of grimy hand and feet. Black is the color of darkness, the color of tired beating street. Now that's the question black people a lot of times ask themselves. They even ask the creator, why should you make me black? But watch what his answer is. He said, why did I make you black? Get up off your knees and look around. Tell me what you see. I didn't make you in the image of darkness. I made you in the image of me. If you ever read Genesis, you're going to find out when he made mankind, he said, I will make mankind from the dust of the ground. What kind of dust of the ground, huh? You are made in his image if you ever tell us. We will let somebody else tell us that black is wrong, black is dirty, black is no good, black. The Savior just said that he made you from the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground. And what color? Black. <laughs> it is not just for black people. See, the whole world is affected about what happens with black people. Can none of this be cleared up, man. None of this can be cleared up. You can march all you want to, you can demonstrate all you want to, you can fall on your knees and complain and whine and blame who you want to, but nothing's going to change until you change it. How do you change it? You're going to have to, this thing that we have in black people ain't just started. Since you can remember, we've done the same thing. Your great granddaddy did the same thing. And then he started marching for two or three days. White folks sit down till y'all get through. When you get through, you come back and do the same thing. You've done everything except change your character. How you change your character? By your vocabulary. <laughs> it's simple as words, man. It's as simple as words. If we can get all black people to change their vocabulary, you, 
In two years, the whole world will change. Because so is a man, thank you, so is he. If you start saying you're beautiful, you'll be beautiful. If you quit saying you're a nigga, you'll quit being one. See, that was a character. Nigga is not a color man. It's a character that was beat into you. They beat that in you. You couldn't help it at one point. They beat this character. They made you say it to you. They made you say, what's your name? Josh McGillicuddy. It is, huh? Well, when you get to the group and you find your head, you tell me, what is your name? Oh, yeah, I'm a nigga, I'm a nigga, I'm a nigga. And when you hear you say nothing else but that. And you had to say that. And you had to say that. You had to say that. You had to say that. You had to stop it. If that don't stop, there ain't no hope for that.